Hi, I'm Dr. Simmons, and today I'm making chicken with prunes, green beans, and sage in apple cider vinegar. I've started by boiling the chicken drumsticks in water, and I've also started boiling some couscous to have on the side. Now, couscous is a type of pasta. It's basically little pasta pearls. Um, I like the pearl couscous because it's a little bit bigger. And it's made from durum wheat like pasta is, which is stiffer than flour that's used for baking. It's also a really great source of selenium. And selenium is important for the thyroid function and for immunity. And it may even help to lower bad cholesterol. Now in a separate pan, I've started to boil the prunes, green beans, and onion. And I've cut the onions into quarters. I'm boiling these separately because there are certain anti-nutrients in them, such as goitrogens that can block the thyroid gland's ability to use iodine, lectins, which can block absorption of different nutrients in the body, and oxalates that can lead to kidney stone formation of calcium oxalate stones. But by boiling them, that helps to inactivate it, and I'll drain it off in a little bit. Now the onions have a lot of organosulfur compounds and those can help with decreasing cholesterol and so that can help with lowering heart disease risk. I've also included the prunes and prunes are basically dried plums. Prunes have sorbitol and insoluble fiber which makes them great for relieving constipation. And the high fiber helps to make sure that the sugar in it is released slowly over time. And so that can help with blood sugar regulation. And it can also promote feelings of satiety, of feeling full, so that there's not a craving to eat again soon after the meal. And it can also help to produce sustained energy after eating because of that slow release of energy rather than just a big spike all at once. The green beans are green, and that's because of the presence of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll in some studies has been shown to slow down cancer cell growth and also help with detoxification of the body. The green beans are low calorie and they don't have any cholesterol, there's no fat, um, but they are full of fiber, so they're a really healthy food. They're part of the legume family. Sometimes they're also called snap peas or string beans. So I'm going to let them go ahead and boil and we'll come back in a little bit once they're ready. All right, so the prunes and onions and green beans have boiled and I drained them off. I've also already drained and dipped up the chicken drumsticks and I've drained and dipped up the couscous, which is going to make a really delicious side dish. Now I just need to add some spices to the prunes and onion and green beans. So I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar, which is a great source of probiotics, which is really good for gut health. And I'm going to just turn this on so that it can mix together with all the flavors. I'm going to add in some black pepper, which has a natural expectorant property, which means it can help to thin out mucus, kind of like a cough syrup, and some pink Himalayan salt, which in addition to sodium has over 80 different minerals and elements in it, and then finally some sage. Now sage has kind of a spicy smell with its antioxidant properties. It has a lot of anti-inflammatory effects and antimicrobial effects in the body. And specifically, some studies have shown that it can help to decrease dental plaque formation and dental infection. So it's a great food to have along with eating any meal, really. It has a lot of vitamin K, which is important for blood clotting pathways in the body. 
and it has some estrogen-like properties to it, which could help to mitigate symptoms of menopause, which is when there's a decrease in estrogen in the body. Though it is important to be aware for people who may have had a history of an estrogen receptor positive breast cancer that this can have an estrogen-like effect. The sage has been shown potentially to help with diabetes by lowering blood sugar and also with helping to decrease the risk for chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. So the adjective sage means something wise. So I think with all the benefits that it has, it's definitely sage to eat sage. So this is mixing in here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it on kind of a unique meal. It smells wonderful. I'm Dr. Simmons, living a plum good life. Oh, I forgot to mention that sage helps with memory and cognition. I think I definitely need some sage to help me remember how to live a better life.